Hello everyone. In this video we're going to quickly go over how we can use the hierarchy of asymptotic complexity to answer questions about simplifying functions into their asymptotic complexities. First, what we have here is 3n squared minus 8 or sorry, plus 8n minus 2, that's some polynomial. We want to know roughly what is the complexity. In particular, we have a certain set of allowable answers. A number to a power log of, sorry, n to a power, log base something of n to a power, n to a power times log base something of n to a power, exponential, and constant. That's all we will see. So, this first function here, the, what is the most important, the fastest growing, the highest on our hierarchy term that appears in that expression? Well, the first one, that's going to be theta of n squared because n squared is the most dominant term there. Our next one, we might need to be careful. The most important term is definitely this n cubed, but it's sandwiched inside of a raised to the fourth. So that function is in n cubed to the fourth, which is going to be n to the 12. Looking at our next function, this looks more complicated. We need to be careful about what we do here. Looking inside of the logarithm, 2 to the n is definitely the winner there. So the log term looks like log base 3 of 2 to the n, which looks like log base 3 of 2 times n. So that's some constant times n. Then the next term, radical n, is going to lose in our hierarchical battle against n. So this function is in theta of n. For 4, this isn't nicely in any of our forms yet, so we might need to do some simplifications. You might remember that there are some convenient log rules. So our log rule we can use here is that if you have an exponent with a log in the exponent, and they are the same base, so 5 and log base 5. You can cancel those out, and you're just left with whatever was inside of the log. This is because exponentiation and logarithms are inverse functions of each other, so they cancel each other out. So, for 4, this is going to be equal to n, which is in theta of n to the 1. For 5... Are my base and my my base of my exponent and my base of my log no longer directly agree? So what I must do is try and get them to agree in some way. So what I'm gonna do is we write that as five squared to the log base five of n, which I can then switch the order of exponentiation. This is one of my exponent rules. Right, this is five to the log base five of n squared switch the order of those exponents now five to the log base five those cancel and i'm left with n squared so five would be in theta of n squared and now we have all five of these examples in the desired form and we'd express the complexity in sufficient ways that, for any problem of this, where I'm just asking you to determine the complexity, you can always sort of ignore the lower order terms, and we're just looking for the higher order terms. You don't need to show any work, provide any justification. I will even tell you that in the problems directive. These problems should be very easy for you. The goal of them is to help you sort of blur your eyes a little bit and only look at the important parts. The constants don't matter except in certain cases involving logs and exponentials. Sorry, uh, and you really want to be able to quickly identify what is the thing that is controlling my growth rate. So these are designed to really get that skill, and you'll see lots of these on homeworks and quizzes, and further in the course as well. 